What is going on, Project fans? Dan and I are at uh, Dan's Cottage today, and we want to make a quick video, a how-to video, to show you guys um, how to hook up a water line behind a fridge. It should be real simple, like uh, about as simple as simple can get. We have a Shark Bite freezer line connection kit, so it has everything that you need in it. We're going to show you it step by step. With this video, this doesn't include if you need to run a water line to the back of your fridge. There's already a water line back there for us to access. All right, so your ice maker connection kit is going to have your slip valve, uh, your shut off for your water line, a uh, connection for your water line to connect to the refrigerator. Came with a couple of these slip remover thingies that, you know, how they work. And we bought the cheapest PEX line cutter that Home Depot had, and I'm wishing I spent a few more dollars. Oh, and you also got line. Kit was like 35 bucks, but it has everything you need in it. It probably could have just bought the stuff cheaper, but I didn't have to think about it. I just bought it. It made it way easier. So the first thing we need to do is cut our PEX line. One thing I'll say, definitely make sure you're cutting your cold line, which these are PEX lines are red and blue, so it's easy for me to tell. If you're running copper or something at your house, just run the uh, cold water for a little while and run the hot water for a little while, and you can just feel one pipe will be warm, one pipe will be cold. Uh, make sure you shut your water off before cutting these lines. It's sad that we have to put that in the video. It's sad, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> so you're supposed to cut about two inches off. I've got a little bit of flex, so I'm not that worried about it being precise. Steep little things actually work better than I expected them to. If you're running copper lines, um, you're going to want to take a deburring tool or something to clean up your edges. Um, we're not running copper lines, so it really doesn't matter. You can still do it anyway. I'm not going to do it because it's an extra step I don't need to do. I'm going to look stupid here. All right, I can't pull it off, so I probably did it right. Now, also, if you're running copper, this is a slip line. So it'll move all the way up and then use one of those orange things to back it down where you need to it. Since we had play in the line, I didn't really need to do that. This clamp down to the second ring. Water line on, water line off. Take the line and push it in, make sure it's in real good. And then if you want, you can cut this to length. I'm just gonna give myself plenty of extra. Take your other end and just Insert it in so like that, and then attach it to the refrigerator line. I recommend using a pair of pliers or something to tighten this all the way. I did not bring any, so I'm just gonna he-man it on there and hope for the best. Now that's a gasket seal, right? So you don't have to put any Teflon tape or anything like that on there? Correct. And then you're done. That's it. 